Fishing with braid has its advantages. For starters, it's significantly thinner and stronger than monofilament or fluorocarbon. And the no stretch properties make it super sensitive to detect even the most subtle bites. It also means there's less memory in the line when it sits on the spool, so depending on how much you use it and attempt to abuse it, you may only need to change your line a few times a year. We all have our own way of respooling, and some techniques are definitely better than others. So here are a few tips and hacks to help you respool correctly and get the best performance and longest life out of your braid. First, you need to make sure that your reel is designed to handle braid. Braid's really slick, so it can actually slip on the arbor of the reel on a hook setter while you're fighting a fish. A lot of the new reels have a rubber or a nylon coating around the arbor to help with that problem. If your reel doesn't have a coating, there's two very simple solutions. One is to wrap a piece of tape around the arbor of the reel. This will help keep the line from slipping. A more economical solution is to use a mono backing. Mono is less expensive than braid, so in addition to eliminating the slip issue, it's gonna save you some money and help you get more mileage out of your refill packs. I typically use a mono backing for my bass and my inshore rigs because I'm not dealing with fish that are gonna be making excessively long runs. So for those applications, the new Spiderwire 200 yard refill packs are ideal. The packs have been redesigned so there's a lot less waste, and the new 200 yard refill packs give me enough line to respool two light tackle reels or one larger one. Start with a mono backing. The knot you use to attach it to the reel really isn't that critical. If you get down to that point, you're in more trouble than you could deal with. Common knot for this application is a simple arbor knot. Join the braid to the mono with a simple uni to uni knot. If you don't know how to tie it, there's instructions on the inside of the label. Even though you're not likely to get down to the mono backing while you're fishing, it's important to put on enough so that your last 100 yards of braid fills your spool completely, about a 16th to an eighth of an inch to the edge of the arbor. Overfilling your spool is the number one cause of loops and knots. Underfilling your spool will actually hinder your casting distance and performance. My favorite way to respool is to have somebody hold the refill spool on a screwdriver or a pencil and apply some tension while I wind the line on the reel. Of course, that requires an additional person, which isn't always available. So I came up with a simple modification on a pretty popular technique that allows you to spool any type of reel properly and with ease. It only requires a few household items, a screwdriver, a bucket, and a foam noodle like your kids use in the pool. First, you need to find a screwdriver that you can wedge right inside a bucket. Doesn't matter if your bucket is round or square, it works the same, you just have to find a screwdriver and bucket that work well together. Cut a section of the noodle so that it goes across the width of the bucket. Take your screwdriver and poke it right through the cross section of the noodle. Add your spool, measure, and cut another section of noodle so that you get to the end of the screwdriver, like so. Now we're gonna invert this rig when it's time to spool. First, take your open section of the noodle over the shaft of the screwdriver and up the handle. Add your spool of line, the last piece of noodle. Now you have a point of tension so that you can keep this rig from spinning when you plunge it inside the bucket. Adding water to the bucket not only helps keep the bucket from sliding around, it keeps the line from jumping off the spool and helps it pack on your reel a little tighter. Adjust your tension and now you have a rig that will allow you to spool any type of fishing reel properly and without any help. For bait casters and conventional reels, you want the line coming towards you off the top of the spool. For spinning reels, position yourself sideways so the line's coming in the same direction it's going onto the reel. Of course, the easiest way to re-spool your reels is to take them to your local retailer. Most offer it as a complimentary service when you buy a new line. For more tips and tricks, go to spiderwire.com.